Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to the Live Another Life series and we're going camping. In this video I'm showcasing a couple of mods that will really suit this character build and indeed be fantastic for a certain type of roleplay, uh, especially survival mode. And the mods are Complete Camping System and a complimentary mod called Camper's Workbench. And FYI, you have to have the Complete Camping System installed before you can use the Camper's Workbench mod. Uh, sadly, this is PC and Xbox One only, and links are in the description. This is a longer video than I expected, as usually I do pretty panning shots and descriptions, etc. But I had to spend a lot of time trying to work things out, and so decided to do more of a guide uh, than a showcase uh, on exactly how you guys... Uh, get it all set up so you don't waste your time too much so I apologize for the lighting not being consistent as I record each little bit as it got worked out but I've got to say boy these mods are good and uh, they're well worth the effort okay let's crack on okay so you're immediately granted two new survival skills that found in your magic menu resourcefulness and instincts uh, we'll be using resourcefulness a lot at the moment uh, and we'll see more of instincts in other videos you can create and buy camping equipment using items in the worlds around you and, and vendors around you uh, word of caution though some stuff i bought or made in a normal blacksmith's didn't show in the inventory and only showed up after i've made them in the campfire uh, workbench so that's worth a, oh, i'll show you that later on anyway Okay, what I'm showing you here is the uh, campfire options or, or camping options and it's really self-explanatory where you can fine-tune it. Um, yeah, you can have a look at that later on. You've got instincts, as I said, we'll probably cover more about this uh, later on, but it's almost like a, a detect life, uh, detect dead kind of uh, shout. It goes through walls and stuff. I'm not sure how effective it is. I haven't really tried it out yet. We'll see more of that in other videos anyway. But anyway, I really like that. Um, it's a nice little option and then we go into resourcefulness which we'll be using a fair bit of in with this mod and you use it off your uh, power shout button and that brings it up and you want to harvest wood you can chop dead wood or gather branches and you need these for crafting uh, fires uh, making campfires or crafting certain items etc and your screen just goes blank for a little bit uh, while you collect it Okay, we we'll go again. Again, it's on your shell button. And harvest wood. Now, you can also get uh, chopped wood in a normal place near a sawmill or wherever. Uh, you need an axe to get that as well. Okay. Okay, once you've done that, we now have to go shopping. Oh, before we go shopping, uh, because weight is now going to be a bit of an issue, I'm going to create uh, some backpacks which increase your carry weight. I'm using the Creation Club ones, uh, but this mod actually en enables you to buy or make backpacks, which gives you plus 50. Um, the Creation Club ones uh, give you plus 75 uh, points, and you can give them to your followers as well. Now you're going to be, you could be can potentially be carrying around a lot of stuff here, so I think this is worth doing, but it's not necessary. Anyway, these are typical ones you get from the um, uh, Creation Club. So I've already decided which one to go for, but each one's got a, a certain um, talent. The major one gives you plus twenty magic. A thief there gives you lock picking fifteen percent. Um, which is when I, I normally go my last one, but this is the one I'm going to go for, the Adventurer's Backpack, and increase my stamina by 20. So it doesn't really help me, particularly in combat or anything, because I don't use that much stamina. But 75 will be uh, increasing my carry weight, will be more than welcome. Okay, so make those. And now we go and find a, a general merchant, uh, and we can use Bellathor in White Run. I don't think it has to be a general, general um, uh, vendor, but the other ones I went to, uh, War Maidens, didn't have any stuff, so I'm assuming it is a general merchant. So, now you can make this stuff, but as far as I'm concerned, I've got a little bit of spare gold, so I'm going to buy it, buy a couple of tents. 
me, I call them treasures. Okay, what you got for sale, pal? And go down to miscellaneous. Oh, God, the dialogue box drives me nuts. That sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Miscellaneous. There you go. Okay, larger the tent. And a small leather tent. I should really buy another one, but you only had two. And this, I'll uh, buy a cooking pot as well. Again, you can make that if you want to. Okay. Okay. That's all you need for now. We've collected our wood. Oh, buy lockpicks while I'm here. Okay. Now, troll skull will be handy later on, but I don't need that for now. Okay, that'll do. We've now got to head off to the Guardian Stones. And this is where we can pick up a, a book required for Camper's Workbench. Okay, while we're here, we'll uh, activate the Thief Stone. Because Taren actually is a, a roguish kind of character. There's another stone I want to get, which we'll be getting soon. But uh, this one for now will be fine. Okay, now, so what you've got is a little books over in the corner. I always miss the people I break up with. You need to learn to aim better with my bow. And you've got other bits and stuff there. Take those. Take those. And the Explorer's Guide to Crafting. Okay, now I'll leave you to read it, and you want to read it. It's uh, it's actually very, very useful for you. Uh, you yeah, I'm not gonna read it all here anyway. Read, read it yourselves. And now we head to the spot that you've chosen, uh, or we've chosen uh, to actually set up our camp. Now, technically, this will be trespassing, uh, but I've turned that option off in, in the camping options, so I can actually camp up within uh, city boundaries and stuff like that without getting a, a bounty. Okay, so what we're going to do is try and find a place. So all you do is activate it or use it in your inventory. So in, in miscellaneous, the tents, activate it. And what it does is a bit like um, a Fallout 4 kind of vibe, I guess. And you just move it around slightly. And yes, you place it here. So place here. And all happens, it will slowly grow. There you go. Now I think you can get up to three bedrolls in these. I haven't actually had time to work out how you do that. Uh, I haven't been able to do it yet myself. Uh, but we'll see in future videos when I set up tents and stuff. So we do the same as a small one. I really should get three tents. One for Inigo and one for Sophia. Okay, yeah. That'll do. Let's tweak it a little bit. And place it. Okay. Okay, you can go into resourcefulness and you can create a uh, tanning rack. And when you want to activate it, and this is important, you do need this. Um, here you go, just just equip, and then you can put it somewhere. Okay, wherever you you like. I'll move all this stuff later on. This is just for uh, demonstration purposes. And place here. Okay. And now what we want to do is get a campfire going. This is why you wanted the dead wood and uh, uh, logs. So again, just move it round. Oh, shut up, Sophia. Now you can also have an option this. If your fire's flames are too near your tent, you poss there's a possibility your tents can catch fire. Now I've turned that off. I just want an easy life at the moment. But you can put the campfire wherever you like. It's a little bit clunky, but it, well, it works well. Here you go. Here you go. Okay, well, that's pretty well good enough. Yep, place there. 
And you've got, you got a, a few options when you light the campfire as well. You can do it quickly or you can do it slower animations for like role playing purposes. Whichever way you want to do it, you, got, you can really fine tune this, these mods, honestly, you, you, to not an nth degree, but a great degree. Okay, now I've done it for fast. Okay. And you, you can use Strike Stone. Or you can use Magic. I'll just use Magic. Okay. Now I've chosen places like uh, Riverwood so you can be fairly peaceful in here. Obviously I don't have the dragon that's going at the moment so uh, that will make things a little more interesting. Okay so we've now got the campfire. You can also put a pot down uh, which we bought in Belithors or you can make and uh, you can cook. Right next thing to do as you see, look, you have to keep on stoking it with uh, uh, wood to keep it going. Now, we want to create a camper's workbench. Okay. Right, so make the camper's work workbench first and then go into miscellaneous. And you want to place it. Now the mistake I made, I tried to make campus tools and uh, the campus workbench and it just wouldn't work. You have to make this first, place it and then you can start making other stuff. And I, it wasn't really that clear that, that I kind of wanted the whole lot uh, in one hit and it wasn't apparent I couldn't do it. So it took me ages to work out for some weird reason. It just didn't occur to me I couldn't do the whole lot in one hit. Anyway, just place it wherever you like. So, just for argument's sake, I'm fanning around a little bit now. Okay. And we just place it there for argument's sake. Okay, now I'll show you here where I got caught out a little bit. Um, I'm using the workbench. And it shows you a whole lot of stuff that you, you can uh, uh, create. But the campus tools now it says I can. It can't, now I bought the the bellows, tongs, and hammer, etc. in Bellathor, Bellathors. Okay, so I had them in my inventory, and it's kind of telling me I can make the campus tools and create them, but they weren't showing up in my inventory, and it took me bloody ages to work out what was going on. Really, I'm really, it took me ages. So what you've got to do is actually make a furnace first so what we do as you can see it's a <laughs> it took me ages so this is complete, this is the middle of the day before i worked it out so as you can see you can create all this stuff here obviously I haven't got the uh, the ingredients for it yet but so uh, what you want to do is make a bloomery furnace so we make that Okay, now a thing about the furnace, which uh, furnace, furnace, furnace. Okay, which I didn't know, is you have to have heat to, to work it. So you have to build a campfire, campfire, and put it on the campfire. Now it says in the book, put it near. That didn't work, and you have to have a roaring campfire for it to work. Okay. So you've got your campfire over here that you use for yourself. And then you build the other one for the for the furnace okay again it took me absolutely ages to work out i was hunting the internet trying to work out how to do everything um but anyway so what you do then is you made your bellows and tongs and everything uh, oh if you look under the uh, workbench as well there's a sack basically giving you all the ingredients you need to get yourself going uh, more or less okay you may have to add a few uh, here and there. Okay, so we use this. And we make our bellows. Now, bear in mind, I bought these in the shop. I have them. Okay. But because I didn't make them, you can make... Oh, by the way, you can only make iron ingots at the beginning and you build yourself up so you can make other stuff. Um... Yeah, so I bought them and it's shown in my inventory, but I couldn't use them. So it's only when I made them in the furnace here uh, that they actually worked on the workbench. OK. 
Okay, just, yeah. Nothing in there. Okay. Okay, so we run down here. Can we use you know it? What we, should do? we should get drunk and have a big sing song. No, a and again, sing song. just checking, nothing's yes, changed. Because be we've got a lot of stuff we should be able to make in this. So now we can make the campus tools. Okay. And yes. Now, if you see, that opens up everything else. That you can, we can make alchemy labs, uh, arcane enchanters, you can make uh, uh, a proper furnace or smelter, blacksmith's forge, uh, another workbench. I'm not sure exactly what the other workbench does. Uh, not really 100% sure. Um, actually, it might be, uh, so yes, yes, so you can enhance the armors, I guess. It's one of those. But anyway, all this stuff, so you go through all this pro process. Um, Yeah. So now everything's available to you. And don't forget, you've got a load of stuff in the large sack underneath the workbench, which uh, you can use as a safe storage as well. Okay. So that's the process you've got to do to, to make everything. And now to get sawn logs, all you do is activate the saw bench and you go through the animation pro uh, process of sawing logs. You don't even have to move away from the saw branch and go into the forest or anything. You literally do it from there. So that's it. Activate it. And you get some like, nice little noises. Okay. And then if we look at the uh, workbench again, a lot of stuff we couldn't make before. Just a quick example. For example, we can make an, an anvil now. Uh, we can make another workbench and blah blah blah. Obviously, other stuff needs quarry stone, iron fittings, and etc. But you get the general idea now. Everything is now open to you once you've got the uh, the ingredients for it, or the component parts. Okay, guys, that's just about it. It's very long-winded. Like I said, I was planning on doing the showcase, but it becomes so problematical getting this all sorted out. I thought I'd do a, a nice little guide to uh, ease you into it if, if you want to go down this route. And I think it's actually a lot of fun uh, doing this. Now, the location you're going to choose, you can go within the city, obviously, if you turn off the trespassing thing, um, or you can be in the wild. Uh, personally, I'm going to be doing as little fast travelling as possible in this game or this run through, but I possibly will put this near a fast travel point uh, for con just for convenience sake if I want to, uh, if I want to use that uh, at any particular time. And as far as I can see, this is really good for role playing. You know, and, and as I said right at the beginning, uh, I'm not going to be able to buy a property until I can afford it or got permission from a yard uh, in that particular uh, hold. So this really fits into this character and build. Now, next video, I'm going to show you a unique item that will blend perfectly with these mods, uh, especially if you're role playing. Not something I'm going to use myself, uh, but it's a unique item and uh, definitely worth getting. So all in all, I really hope you enjoyed this. And even more importantly, I really hope you found it useful. And I actually do hope you use these mods. These really add an awful lot to the game. So catch you next video, guys. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.